we were a group of team members who were very passionate about building technology so eentra was like one of the platforms we got to build technology together two of our, the found, founders matlab of the team members joined the eentra internship program after the eentra ideas competition one session which was very you know kind of eye opening was from vivek pawar oh. he had a session in iit bombay during the esip regarding the entrepreneurship uh his journey of starting sakal conductor semiconductor and then probably taking a big exit and that was quite inspirational and he had mentioned something you know like he told us like you know you don't do it in the step wise that you know you learn you be uh, and he had given like a entire journey of how you study he told you decide what you want to be and you start doing that and then you know, accordingly you will do everything else so we decided after the yentra competition Uh, plans were not that big that we want to probably start a big company or something like that we are engineers we built something we have a degree but are we really engineers because what we built during yentra probably would not have sustained or you know added value to anybody in the real life it was a project which worked but it was not being used regularly let's build something with our skills and make sure that it's useful for the person we are building it and how do we validate that is we ask probably he becomes our customer so we wanted to build something which is relevant for five customers probably it took us more than 3 years to get those five customers and somewhere between there we realized you know what we were doing was adding a lot of value to the patients for whom we are building the machines and we realized there was a deeper need inside this so we should not be thinking small probably we should look at 5000 or 10000 machines so we can impact millions of people we have a team of 11 people now next 5 years we could be in probably in a 100 cr company 100 team members and probably that is the vision that is driving us now you know to make something big to make an impact in this industry help millions of people we had around 25000 from yentra we had participated in another few competitions we had a couple of lakhs from that so both abhishek and me put together we had around 1.5 lakhs we started off with that our family has been supportive sustenance was taken care of we built a poc we improved that poc to whatever extent was possible and then we applied for government grants a grant for nidhi prayas which was a 10 lakh rupees grant and luckily we got from sign iit bombay on our first attempt the field that we are in we would require more funds and then we ended up getting a grant from byra which is a central government entity and we got a 50 lakh grant called uh, from them which helped us you know take our product to the minimum viable product stage or mvp stage where the product is not like 100% perfect but probably it works 99% of the times and you know your customers you can use it it might not be the best looking out there and then we raised funds also from follow on investors and things like that you have to keep on stepping up as you reach go above 25000 seemed a lot then 10 lakhs seemed very less now 50 lakhs seems very less so as you try and improve the scale of the company probably you get more synonymous to you know adding zeros in front of the expenses that you're doing and the income that you're driving one thing that i've always kept in mind is we have to be frugal because the biggest advantage that we as students have is frugality and that is what helps us move faster if we are waiting for that luxurious office or that luxurious laptop or something like that then probably we would not have reached here what we need to focus on is our project should work 100% of the times that is the goal it is not the probably it's not ai ml or it's not robotics so it's not whatever first think about the output and then think about whether your product is driving that output all the time now if you need to use whatever to do that that is something that you know we've realized the difference between a project and a product ensure that students right from the get go building things for someone probably your students focus more on building a simpler solution but making sure that it reaches to the end user the amount of learning would be significantly higher they will 
themselves feel a lot more confident about building products if you are persistent enough we have been lucky to find the right people we have had customers showing interest to fund us we have had patients you know trying coming and supporting us to invest and once you have such few people then probably some big guns also come and you know probably show interest so problems are in innumerable but you shouldn't be willing to compromise on that so easily keep persisting so that you know you can you'll achieve whatever you think you want to